right, I'm Jason Parker. I'm here at the Mattress Factory Studios uh, in the studio of David Huff and Esteban Patino. Um, David, I understand the Mattress Factory Open Studios event is this weekend. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's basically a community event. Um, we have about 16 artists here in the studios working every day. And uh, we basically twice a year open the studios up for the public. Uh -huh. Let the public in, let them see kind of what we do, where we work. We clean it up a little bit, you know, put things on the wall to like show so it's not the exact raw, raw space mm -hmm. that we usually work in, but it's still, it it lets the artist community and the public kind of meet face to face outside of a gallery setting mm -hmm. um, to where it's, it, it's a little more personal. Tell me a little about your own work. Um, my work, uh, I, I basically kind of focus on color and form and narrative within color and form. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm an abstract painter, um, mm -hmm. kind of classically trained figurative painter. So I kind of combine those two opposing ideas mm -hmm. um, into pieces to make different forms. Um, but uh, the big thing I'm interested in is kind of the narrative and abstract narrative. You know, it's something that people can grasp. Everybody loves a story or a narrative or it's a lot it's something that a lot of people look for in art do you think that uh abstraction is um is in vogue now or is it fashionable at all to to paint uh abstractly um i think the art world is so blown open right now uh -huh. that anything can be fashionable it's uh, the the way the art world is right now that you don't have like historically you've had movements and things going on to where you know, this, this style of painting and this whole movement in this school is the big thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like that anymore. Mm -hmm. People are, you see your art superstars and even your artists here in Atlanta doing a wide, you know, like just various work. Uh -huh. You know, people doing straight figurative work that are really popular and people are really getting into. And then you see like really abstract work. And then you see installation work and sculptures. So. It's actually a fortunate time to be an artist. You can basically do kind of whatever you want. Like me personally, I'm working on kind of like three or four different kind of bodies of work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm able to do that. In the past, you would be crucified for doing that. And mm -hmm. plenty of great artists have been for changing up their work and doing something different. Now it's almost expected to do something different. So. What's in vogue right now is all over the board. You know, it's uh, almost anything goes nowadays. All right, well, thank you for talking to me. Uh, anything goes at the Mattress Factory Open <laughs> Studios on Saturday. Here I am with uh, Esteban Patino, who shares a studio with David Huff. Uh, Esteban, tell me what you're going to be showing on Saturday. I uh, have a series of work. Um, they basically deal with language and with uh, with the alphabet that I created, and um, so I have a series of work which are made on wood. I also have a series of paper pieces and a series of paintings. Mm -hmm. So they all have what my vision is about language. So a certain symbols that I created, and then with them putting them uh, in a certain perspective with layers, as you know, as people talk. Yeah. Um, and I understand you've been participating in the open studios for a while. Um, have you? How have you seen it sort of change as it's as it's? Uh, how have you seen it change as it's yeah. gone on? Uh, well, they've been happening for ten years. I've been here for four years, and uh, there was a little hiatus between the ten and the four years. And the last four years, we've been very organized with uh, every time that we've done it. We're doing it uh, twice a year in spring and fall. And uh, there's definitely a very strong group of artists right now. So I, I would say this is the best show that, we, that we've done, that we're going to do. So, I mean, it has changed dramatically. And uh, we're organized and, and just the artists that are here are it's high quality, definitely. Cool. Well, thank you. I look forward to it. Here I am with Allison Shockley, who is another artist who's going to be exhibiting at the uh, Mattress Factory Open Studios. Um, Allison, tell me what you're going to show people. 
Um, I'm going to be showing my uh, recent body of encaustic paintings, um, and I've been working on that for the last several months. Um, in the past, I've worked in steel, and I've done photography, so it's sort of it's sort of a different place for me. And uh, what I like about open studios is you can you can show what you're working on at the moment, um, you know, before it goes to to gallery, and maybe just you want to show things to get feedback. So. So is it, is it a good way, uh, an open studio, to sort of gauge the public's reaction to the direction your work is taking? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's not, not uncommon for uh, people who own galleries to come out as well, and you can get some feedback from them as well. And um, it's nice to just spend a day um, talking to people about your work and just kind of thinking about it and seeing reactions. It's a little more uh, or less formal, I guess, than a gallery setting. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Anybody can come in. So, awesome. yeah. um, Tell me about encaustic work and, and what that entails and, and why you chose it. Okay. Um, encaustic is an ancient medium um, that sort of dates back to ancient Greece. Um, and it, it was used to paint the fam portraits, which is portraits of people on on sarcophaguses, I guess you would, I don't know if that's the correct term, but uh, <laughs> on their coffin. Um, uh -huh. And it's a, it just consists of beeswax and damara resin, which comes from a tree, I believe, mm -hmm. in Indonesia. Um, and uh, you heat up the wax and, and paint with it. And I, I chose to work with it because it's a sculptural medium, um, and you can carve into it. Um, you can work with layers upon layers upon layers. You can add and subtract. And it's sort of the, the working process for me is a sort of continual adding and subtracting of information until you get just what you want. Um, and it lends itself well to what I do. Cool. Um, and so your, your paintings are very abstract. Mm -hmm. And it seems as if you sort of start with that basic geometric shapes, sort of squares and circles. But then you kind of go off. Uh, on these unusual sort of weather pattern looking tangents. How do you, how do you go from one to the other? Well, um, it's funny because it's sort of a, a continuous push and pull in the process. Um, what, I, what I usually do is start off with a sort of a chaotic uh, background. Um, and um, the encaustic paint lends itself well to this because it's it sort of, when it goes down, it goes down a little bit uneven. And I, I put on layers upon layers and scratch back um, to reveal the earlier layers, which is why it sort of has a topographic kind of look. Mm -hmm. And what ends up happening is it's chaotic, um, but there's a sense that, that there's a sort of rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. um, and what I do with the geometric shapes on top of that is to, is to try to uh, strike a balance between chaos and order and so that the eye can take it in and it feels, um, when you're looking at the work, it somehow feels right. Although there's chaos, there's a sort of order that organizes the chaos um, and uh, makes it interesting to look at. Um, so uh, that's, it's sort of grounded in the chaos theory that we're seeing, I, what I believe is we're seeing all the time, chaos that, that has pattern to it, like if you're looking at a tree, how the light comes in through the leaves of a tree um, there's, it, there's a random pattern there, but I think our eye recognizes it as being somehow right because there are the constant shapes of the leaves that are cutting out sort of a pattern. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so my work is really about that. It's about how our eye perceives chaos and order and, and when is a painting finished? And when, does it, when does it have a sort of harmony that we can accept and look at and feel comfortable with? Cool. Well, it's uh, beautiful, and I look forward to seeing it well, at the open studios. Thank you for talking to me. All right.